Hey you guys, in today's video, I am making manapua. So this manapua. is filled with the char siu. I turn it into a gravy so it's nice and gooey on the inside and it's got a nice fluffy bun on the outside. This is highly requested by my husband and my kids have grown to really love it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and enjoy the recipe as well. So the first thing that I did is I took some pork loin, because that's what I had, and I chopped it up into these little tiny pieces. No, this is not the authentic way, this is the fast way that I do it. And I dumped this char siu sauce on top. It's Korean barbecue sauce, char siu, uh, Chinese barbecue sauce, sorry, um, the char siu sauce. And so I cut this all up and stuck it in a bowl and dumped this bottle on top of it and let it marinate overnight and then with a, just a tiny bit of oil in my pot I dumped it in here and I've cooked it it's been about half an hour I cooked it on low so I'm just letting this kind of reduce down and then I will start building my gravy for the manapua so for the manapua dough, you will need 2 cups of flour, 1 teaspoon of yeast, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 4 teaspoons of sugar, and 1 cup of water, and this will make 8 manapua. Okay, so I have 1 cup of warm water, I just used it out of my tap, and I'm going to add 4 teaspoons of sugar, just regular sugar. And then I'm going to, I'm going to add um, one teaspoon of yeast to my warm water. And I'm just going to let that proof over here before we get started with the rest of our dough. So while um, my yeast is proofing, I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of flour. into my stirring bowl and then I'm going to also add one um, teaspoon of baking powder and I'll just stir that up and I'm going to add a little bit of salt too because I like so adding salt to stuff and that's it so we're just going to wait for our yeast to proof it looks like it's proofing already but we'll give it a couple minutes so I'm just going to add a little bit of probably like a quarter teaspoon and just stir that up until our, um, our um, yeast is proofed. You could probably add it now. I know it's good. So the next step, I'm going to just go ahead and add this. I'll pour it right into the middle of the flour. And this is going to be sticky. So just mix it so that way it could come together. And I'm going to let it sit in here. I'm just going to make it all come together. And I'll let it sit for about 20 minutes before I try touching it again. It's just easier that way. Double check the bottom, just kind of scooping it like this from the bottom and putting it onto itself here and then try to get all the dough that you can off of your fingers. Like I said, whoops, like I said, it's really sticky. So this is normal to be this sticky. There you go. And I'll cover that and let it sit for about 20 minutes. char siu filling you're going to need about one pound of shredded char siu that we made earlier one tablespoon of sesame oil half a cup of water two tablespoons of cornstarch and about two tablespoons of fresh diced green onion also when i make mine i like to double this recipe and stick half of it in the freezer for next time okay so to my char siu um sauce or my char siu it's um pretty much 
all the way cooked and so i just kind of want this it's supposed to be actually like cooked in a big chunk and then shredded so i'm just trying to like you know get that same effect here so i'm just breaking it up it doesn't have to be um, super broken up and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of sesame oil that's about a tablespoon of sesame oil okay i'm i'm also going to make i'm um, going to be adding a slurry a cornstarch slurry so i'm just taking uh like a spoonful like this much and I'm gonna add it into some water so I'll put uh, like two spoonfuls Once you have all of the um, cornstarch mixed in, I'm going to just pour it in here. And I'm also going to add um, this small amount of green onion. And then I'll just wait for that to thicken up. I'll add a little bit more water. I'm gonna turn that down. It looks like it's burning. I'm gonna add more water. So we're just basically making a gravy out of the char siu sauce. So you can stir it up until the thickness that you want. And this is pretty much done and we're ready for um, to put the filling into our, char our um, manapua. Look at how proofy that is. So I'm just going to turn the dough out onto the counter so that we can pop all the air bubbles. And then we're going to knead this for a little bit until it looks nice and smooth with most of the big air bubbles taken off of it. <laughs> okay, sprinkle some more. Perfect, yes, please. Okay, sprinkle. So once you notice that most of the air bubbles are out, um, the big air bubbles, then that's that's good enough. Um, some people say that you should do this for um, quite a while until the yes. until you can cut it and not see any more air bubbles. But I just need it for a couple minutes until most until I see most of the air bubbles come out, and then I'm gonna divide it into eight pieces. So you fish for squid, not calamari. Funny, Okay, so I'm going to leave this. Wait, can you sprinkle some flour right here? Perfect. So once I have all of the dough balls um, rolled out, I just go ahead and cover them with a piece of uh, wax paper. And there's, they are sticking a little bit, but that's okay. So the next thing that you want to do is cut as as many um, parchment paper or wax paper as the manapua that you're going to make. 
So this long strip actually ended up cutting 10, so I just stick them into the drawer and the extra ones into the drawer and for next time. And I am also going to heat up my water and I'm going to be using my spaghetti um, strainer thingy for to steam them. So you can see that the the dough has risen a little bit. It's been about 10 minutes and they've gotten a little, a little bit fluffier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pinching around the edges and leaving a, a lump kind of in the middle so the the middle is still yet poofy but i'm just pinching around the edges and then i'm going to fill in with a lot of the filling be generous with the filling because it's um you know it's it's better that way so go ahead and, and put the filling in and then you're just gonna lift like one uh, side one one little piece and then try to pinch it up so you can see and just gathering and pinching it in a circle and just turning it and keeping your thumb in one place but kind of gathering and pinching with your with your middle and index finger and then at the end I like to twist it and then from there I will put my wax paper on and then I'm going to tip it turn it over got a little bit sticky there and that's our manapua. I'm gonna go put it into the steamer. So to help it not, to help the manapua not stick to your hand, you can go ahead and put uh, some some extra flour on your hand so that it could roll easier. And then again, I'm just rolling it into a ball and pinching around the edges and leaving that bump, that fat dough in the middle. And so it kind of looks like uh, I don't know a weird hat, I guess. Or like a bowl maybe um, I don't know what it looks like but this is what it's supposed to look like and then when you have it like that you can push the middle down to make I guess for sort of like a bowl and then go ahead and scoop in your filling I think I'm putting probably about I don't know two tablespoons three tablespoons a pretty good amount and you can push it down in there because um, that's part of the reason why leaving it um, thicker in the middle helps and then again I'm just gonna pinch my edge and Kind of pull the dough is very stretchy so you can just pull it with your middle finger and bring it in with your index finger keeping your thumb in the same place twisting it around and then grabbing the wax paper again covering that little spot and turning it upside down and then into the steamer so my steamer is already getting warm and so i will leave those in there to on on very low um to kind of rise again so I'm gonna leave them in there for about 10 minutes before I um, actually start steaming them with the higher steam. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these manapua finished up. So I have this little um, thing that came with my rice cooker, the little steamer shelf, but it's a lot smaller than what I can fit in there, what I need to fit in there. So I'm using this piece and I'm gonna put it on top of the manapua that I already have in there on the bottom shelf. And I'm gonna put it in an upside down so that way I can set another layer of manapua right here on top. And then I have this also on low. Awesome. So this is kind of giving like an extra steam time for the manapua. So we're just about finished here and I'm going to put these into the steamer. What's that? Oops. Oh, the char siu. Can you make it or just buy it? I made it. Oh. I bought the, it's like a barbecue sauce. Mm. You can do that? 
Oh. So the next thing you want to put a towel over, here they are. I'm going to leave this in here so that they can um, rise a little bit before we steam them. This is on low and um, yep, 10 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like. So here's what they look like, 10 minutes of resting. So I'm going to cover this and cook them for 12 minutes. And here we are, 12 minutes later. Mm -hmm. Here they are, they are done, and we finally get to eat our manapua. Be very careful with the steam when you're trying to get these out, but these are ready to eat. So here is the manapua out of the steamer. Okay, go ahead and open. And that is the recipe, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And if you liked it, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below because it really helps the channel. So anyways, I hope that you will check out one of my other videos and... Thank you so much for watching.